YouTubers, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot here. Today I'm going to be unboxing and quickly reviewing the Viper Spectra Reflector Series 450 watt LED grow light. So let's get started. All right, well, first thing we noticed that the light is well boxed, well packaged. We have a three prong power cord here that's going to fit right into the light and some light hangers. So these are just the hangers. Um, you're gonna need additional adjustable hangers if you want to adjust this light up and down in your grow space. Okay, let's take the top off and look what's under here. All right, looks like we have an instruction booklet. Always helpful. Just got some safety information, some specs on the light, uh, some basic info about photosynthesis it looks like. Um, some PAR data, and of course the warranty terms, and the warranty card just in case you have any problems with the light. Okay, this unit feels pretty sturdy, it's heavy. Uh, you can see the LED diodes are surrounded by um, reflectors, which helps focus and reflect the light. And on the side here, we have a veg and a bloom switch. So the veg is gonna be used obviously for veg and while you're blooming, you're gonna to want to use both switches. Some good ventilation, you have ventilation on all sides. Here's where the power cord goes and it looks like it's also daisy chainable. Info on the power, input voltage, frequency, Got two cooling fans on the back. Yeah, it looks like a great light. All right, well, uh, let's turn this on and see what this looks like. This light's designed to replace a 400 watt HID grow light. Uh, it only consumes about 200 watts at full power and it's perfect for a 2.5 by 2.5 space for flower and a 3.5 by 3.5 foot space for veg. So turning on the veg switch, you can see there's two different types of white LEDs and probably a couple different types of blue LEDs as well. I'm gonna turn that off and just turn on the flower. So there's several different diodes on here with the flower looks like the white, uh, two different types of red and some dim LEDs. These are the IR LEDs, so they're at full power even though our eyes can't really see them. Uh, they're providing additional benefits to your plants. So this is at full power, drawing about 200 watts. This is the uh, full spectrum here. This spectrum is really heavy in blue, which some people may not like. Um, however, if you look at the reviews on Amazon or talk to other growers that have grown with this, um, they've gotten great results with the spectrum. So you shouldn't necessarily let the high blue scare you away. Um, it just comes down to preference and possibly some um, testing in your own grow room to see if this light would work for you. Again, most people love it. Um, I don't think anyone has had a problem with the additional blue, uh, but I just wanted to point that out. Sweet, let's check out this light. All right, I got the veg switch on. Nice blue, really lighting up the tent. This is taken about four feet above the bottom of the grow tent, which I don't recommend using this fixture at unless you're using it for seedlings. But I just wanna show you what the light looks like. And now here's the red spectrum. Really nice deep reds. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And both switches. Really lighting it up now. 
loving it, loving it. Yeah, you can see that full spectrum right there. Your blues, your reds, your whites. Now that we've got the light in the tent, let's measure the par at 36 inches. So 36 inches is going to be about what you want for seedlings. Uh, we're at about 118 micromoles. Um, you're going to want about the you're going to want the light about a foot closer uh, during veg. However, I just took the reading here so you can see what it's like for seedlings, and just know that you're going to get higher intensity um, during veg as you move the light closer. Now I have both the veg and the bloom switch on, measuring the light at 18 inches above the bottom of the grow tent. And off to the side, there is low par, but as you move it under the light, it looks like it's right around 370. And then as you bring the, uh, the meter closer to me, it drops off. So 18 inches is the perfect height for flower. You can have it as close as 15 inches. Um, you could back it up a little bit to get a larger footprint, but your par is gonna drop down. This is a sweet spot for flower. Here are all the wavelengths included in the Viper Spectra 450. So this really helps to round out the spectrum. And of course the PAR data that Viper Spectra attained, which is a little bit higher than my PAR data, but it's pretty close, so I'm gonna go with these numbers. If you wanna learn more or buy this light, you can do so at the links below, either on our website, ledgrowlightsdepot.com, or on Amazon. So give this video a thumbs up and comment to show your love and support. And if you want more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.